for there are many unruly and vain talkers, and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lookers' sake. Greetings everyone and welcome to this video. This is just a short warning video about the channel D13 Watchmen that you should not receive teaching from this channel if you're a Christian. The channel owner claims to be a Christian, yet if you look at some of the teachings in this man's videos, you will see that these teachings are contrary to scripture and some of these teachings are utterly demonic. So now let's get into this video and I will show you. Okay, let's start off with this clip here from this video. Understanding Satan's Master Plan. Right, I don't agree with that title to begin with. Uh, Satan does not have a master plan. You know, a master plan like insinuates that it's possible that it could work. You know, all Satan's plans against God will fail. In fact, Satan has been defeated as we will see here in scripture and the whole point of this clip anyway was to show this blasphemy here you know a lot of channels are teaching this that Saturn slash Satan father time god of time this is a lie it's just a lie friends it cannot be found in the bible and to say that Satan is the father is blasphemy man and I'll show you the scripture here that these people try and use to say that Satan is the god of time. You know, they'll try and use this passage here in Ephesians 2 2 where it talks about Satan being the prince of the power of the air. And then they'll mix in scientific theories and things like that and try and say that means that Satan is the god of time. Nah, it's just eisegesis, friends. And you should not receive that as truth. It's a lie, man. God is in complete sovereign control over time, the god of the Bible. The true Lord God of the Bible, friends, not Satan. Right, see this? This is just not true. He's trying to say here that the lie of the serpent, the truth was that their eyes were not opened, rather they were blinded and they became of flesh. You know, so he's trying to say that Satan's lie was that their eyes were not opened. Even though if you were to read Genesis 3, 7, it says that their eyes were opened. You know, the devil actually spoke two pieces of truth in Genesis 3, 5. The two pieces of truth were, then your eyes shall be opened, and knowing good and evil. The lie was, you shall be as gods. You know, I can even prove to you that knowing good and evil was true is seen here in Genesis 3.22. You know, the devil will speak numerous truths, but then mix in a lie with it. You know, that's what makes the devil very cunning and crafty. And look here also, he says, it, and they became of flesh. That's a lie also, man. You go to Genesis 2 and read the full context, man, you'll see that they were created flesh never became a flesh. You know, he's got it all twisted here. And it's just messed up, perverted teaching. And let's move on and I'll show you more of his false teachings. What people seem to forget, and I'm going to say it over and over, is that Satan counterfeits everything. For everything God has created, Satan has a counterfeit. We see, I don't have to tell you how many times we've seen the cube. The black cube, I mean, Black Cube is the prison we are in down here, on the upside down version of heaven. We are in Satan's upside down world, the world of sin and death. Right, here's this cube teaching again. It's found on the channel round Saturn's Eye, where they're teaching that we're in this prison, that God puts in this cube prison, and there's no scripture to prove this. And also he says that we're in this upside down version of heaven. This is a lie. God is not this evil dictator that put us in a prison. You know, this teaching is so repugnant to me. 
because it maligns the character of God and it lies about who God is and if you read the Bible God is love God wants the best for man you know even if you go and read this story in Genesis 3 of the fall of mankind after the fall nowhere does it teach that we're in some upside down version of heaven or God put us in this cube prison you know it's just a lie we're still in the earth that God created in the beginning. But the thing is, is, this is how tricky Satan is. You know, for the Antichrist to destroy what we perceive as evil, that is how he will come to get us to trust and follow him, and fake being Christ-like and fake being God-like is the fact that he will destroy this evil. And you know millions of people will flock to that is the fact that he will destroy this evil. And you know millions of people will flock to that. They will feel that they've been justified and the rebellion is, is won and it's false. It's just like the movie Star Wars, you know, Luke Skywalker is the Antichrist and Darth Vader is being portrayed as God. I mean, it's all the Hegelian dialectic, it's flipped upside down. And we look in these cube patterns that we see, we have the magic cube, which is the number 42 within it, which has been attributed to Saturn. Okay, he says here that the number 42 is what's been attributed to Saturn. And then he has L in brackets. You know, that's the same thing that's found on the channel Spy Kitten TV that I showed in an earlier video on this channel. Where she was saying that L is Saturn. And L is a name that was given to God in the Old Testament. What we can find in a lot of these occultist channels is they apply all the true attributes of God, the true titles of God to Saturn and they're doing this in a very subtle way because they're implementing these lies across numerous videos on their channel on different videos because they know that they'll just get called out for it if they implement it all in the one video and what they do in many occasions as well is they will throw out a, an occultic quote and it tricks the viewer into thinking they're not in agreement with that quote yet when you examine other videos on their channel they will actually start teaching that occult garbage that they've quoted as fact this subsequently gets the viewer to become confused because all these lies end up brainwashed into their subconscious and they end up finding it difficult to discern the difference between a lie and truth that's why you should avoid all these new age channels all these channels are promoting different ideas pointing you to sources out with the bible and we see that portrayed in saturn and the the reason that you know nasa has the images of the hexagon on saturn and all that you know whether it's real or it's fake you know i think it's fake it's done fake on purpose to make people think that there's this cube there and whatever satan is a symbol of judgment whatever satan is a symbol of judgment we know that satan loves nothing more than to want to be a judge like god he wants to be able to judge people I tell you something friends satan is not the symbol of judgment look at this other video he has on his channel the black cube is a symbol of judgment of freemasonry and the occult to teach that the black cube is satan you know see what's going on friends this guy's probably a mason and i say probably because you know i don't like to make definitive statements or falsely accuse but the evidence is there and look what he says at the end of this video Saturn is the god of judgment. See, he's saying that Satan is the god of judgment. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a god of judgment. For the Lord is a god of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him.
and the following picture, I'll show you this simple. And it just goes to show that God has a plan. Jesus has a plan for all of us. There's no such thing as coincidences. Um, the mere fact that I was doing this at four or five years old is just unbelievable. You know, where would I get this knowledge from? Why would I make such a symbol? Um, it's just, it's just really amazing how God works. And you know, to find out and see that this is the symbol of the sun wheel. And then I had done a video about the sun wheel, and I've been doing videos on the sun wheel in the bureau, the black sun. And then I remember the video I had seen of the crop circle, the symbol of the sun wheel in the wheat crop. There are no coincidences, folks. There are no coincidences in life. God's plans are played out the way he plays them out. He knows us from birth to death. He knows us when he stitches us together in our mother's wombs. It's just striking and apparent now to what God's been showing me and what I'm showing you guys is, you know, here is the symbol of the black sun, the most evil symbol. There is the most evil symbol. There is the most evil symbol. There is. Okay, it says here the planet of the crossing. The Buru that appears in the sky inside the firmament. And then he says the black sun, it makes the moon turn blood red. Acts 220. You know, a lot of people worship this black sun, friends. And I tell you something, Acts 220 does not say that the black sun makes the moon turn blood red. It says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. It does not say the black sun shall make the moon turn into blood. And this is in context of God speaking, save God, see, in Acts 2.17. And if we read Acts 2.19, it says, And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in earth beneath, blood and fire and vapour. It's God that turns them into blood, friends, not the black sun.